Hey guys, we're back with a new video. We're gonna do a firmware upgrade on the Crestron transmitter model DMTX201-C. We'll be using Crestron Toolbox to verify and validate our progress. So first of all, let's launch Toolbox. Let's click on the binocular icon which launches device discovery tool, which will scan the subnet the computer is on to see if it detects Crestron devices. I suggest maximizing the discovery tool window within Toolbox in order to see all the options. And our primary goal is to discover the DM transmitter and from there we can set up and manage the device. At the end of the video, I'll have a tip in case you're having issues connecting to the Crestron DMTX201-C. Okay, now let's click on the discover device button. Now there's an eight second countdown from the time you click on discover. If you just connected the device to the network or just powered it, you may have to give it some time to boot up and establish network connectivity before it's detected. So run it again until the device is detected. Okay, now we detected the DM transmitter. Now we can see the device name, host name, IP address, and firmware version listed. Let's double click on the transmitter on the left in order to connect to the device and access device details and configuration options. That will load on the right side of the window. Now you'll see buttons with options to configure the DM transmitter. Let's click on firmware. This window allows you to browse and select the location where the firmware is located, but let's go to download the latest firmware. We'll go to crestron.com. Type in the transmitter's model in the search box. Click on the device name. Now let's click on downloads and documentation. Then scroll down until we find firmware. Now here we see there are three firmware versions, but for this video, I want to select the latest version. Click download and it will ask you to log in. After you log in, I suggest you read the release notes to know what the latest fixes were and if any of it applies to the design you're commissioning or testing. Here we can see the DMTX201C's firmware main application version and the FPGA. Let's look for the bullet point notes. Okay, here it is. I won't read it for the purpose of the video. So now, let's download the firmware. As you can see, the firmware version is in the name and the extension is .puf. Click OK and let it download. Let's go to the downloads folder and run the firmware update by double clicking on the .puff file we downloaded. Keep your eyes on the status and details bar to see the details during the firmware update.
Now this is how we will connect to the Crestron DMTX 201-C. Since we're using an IP connection, we'll select TCP option and enter the IP address of the device. Then hit OK to connect to the device. Once we connect to the device, you'll see the IP of the device along with detected and device model. Then scroll down until you find the said device. In this case, it's the DMTX201-C. When located, it will show you both the device package and the firmware package details. Let's click update to upgrade the firmware. In this case, the package firmware is a newer version, so the package update tool recommends to update it. Once the status shows the update is complete, a good practice is to click on the recheck button to make sure the device firmware and package firmware match each other. Okay, now let's go back into Toolbox and rediscover the DM transmitter to see if the firmware information matches the new version we updated. Click on Discover Devices. As you can see, the new firmware shows on the device. Let's double click it to see more details and go into System Info to verify the FPGA info. and it's 48. Like, comment, subscribe, and here's the tip I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Until next time.